Ah yes, it is the time of year in the Northeast. When you got a yard that has a lot of leaves, you kind of got to get them out of the way. Well, you know, I've been doing that for a while. <clears throat> and uh, I bought one of these a little over two years ago. Let me tell you, that's the, that is the best electric blower that I have ever used, hands down. I mean, that baby has a lot of power, a lot of CFM, a lot of air coming out of it. And uh, anybody who used it that, uh, that I let borrow it was just as impressed as I was. Well, it has a two-year warranty, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, a little over two years. I was out in that driveway I just showed you, and uh, all of a sudden, it started vibrating like crazy. So I unplugged it and uh, tried it again, and obviously it was, it was toast. So uh, I figured, all right, well, I'll repair the thing. You know, since it's out of warranty, two-year warranty, it's a little over two years, I'll repair it. Well, if you go to their website, they have a, uh, you know, parts, what do you call it, a, uh, a manual for parts. And uh, it includes this, the blower tube, and this knob. That's the extent of the repair parts for this thing. That was, you know, pretty, pretty much dis dismayed on, on what they uh, consider to be a repair manual. Or, or parts. So I opened the thing up and uh, this piece is the uh, you know the heart of the sucker and uh, if you look in there there's a blower there's a blade a uh, fan blade and uh, this was either epoxied together as one piece or it was ultrasonically welded but in any event it, you can't separate this and the motor is held in here but there's the these veins here would keep the motor from pulling forward because the, the uh, fan blades are still attached so I just figured you know what I, this thing ain't working I'll be the coroner what's the worst that could happen it comes back to life <clears throat> I took it to the bandsaw and I sawed it open right all right so now I got the thing open and uh I guess I put this nut on a little tighter than I should have, but anyway, there's the missing blade, and that this is removable. And uh, I didn't put bring the tool out, but anyway, nonetheless, this piece is just held onto this motor shaft by that nut, and uh, so I figured, well, I'll plead my case to Toro. I'll send him a, a, a nice letter and asking him if there's any chance that they could uh, send me one of these fan blades. And I'd be willing to pay for it, you know what I mean? Obviously it's out of warranty, that's no big deal. So I get a uh, stock corporate answer back from uh, customer service and uh, first I'll read you what I sent them. And they have a, they have a, uh, on their webpage, they have a thing called S sustainability. It's sustainability indoors, they call it. And uh, there's Mr. Olson, Mr. Richard Olson. He's the CEO. And uh, I could not find an email address for this man to be able to send him something directly. And I just figure it's unlikely that customer service is going to trouble him with my, my $60 blower. And uh, I don't blame him. But uh, anyway, I told Mr. Olson, I said, I'm a, I'm a homeowner, not a landscaper, who purchased the PowerJet 7F700 blower a little over two years ago, and it's by far the best blower I've ever used. In the middle of blowing debris off my driveway, it started shaking abnormally. As it turns out, one, one blade on the turbo fan had broken free of the hub. Since it's out of warranty by a few months, I was going to repair it, not want to throw all this perfectly good plastic in the trash. That, that's really the crux of this video. I was quite dismayed that the replacement parts are limited to the knob and the blower tube. 
All right, so I, I have a, a Toro 850 blower from the 1990s. It still works, but it's nowhere near as powerful as this, you know, 700. But it still works. So I was, you know, determined to get the thing open. I told the man, I said, uh, so I, I cut, I cut the assembly apart. And if this thing was engineered with any kind of maintainability in mind, this would have been able to be removed. But obviously, for, for uh, reasons that they don't want you to fix it, that they don't particularly care. And, and it's probably a lot faster to assemble it the way they're doing it. I said, Richard, is there any chance you could please send me the, the fan blade so I don't have to throw the rest of this working, into, working unit into the trash? I initially, you know, so anyway, I figured rather than do this first I would contact the man well I get the uh, the stock answer back and uh, obviously it's not not really what I was hoping for it's kind of what I suspected but it's not what I was hoping for and uh, it goes uh, you're Mr. Smith Thank you for contacting Toro. The corporate office has received your communication. I, I don't know about that, but maybe they did. We're really sorry to hear about your, that your fan blade is broken. Well, they said we are sorry, not really sorry. <laughs> While we applaud the, and appreciate your passion for sustainability, we're not able to send you a replacement fan blade. Although some third-party sellers make these parts available, we do not sell them as replacement parts to dealers or customers. As we do not recommend the disassembly and reassembly of electronic components on the blower, please understand that these policies exist to keep customers and dealers safe. As you stated, since this blower is out of warranty, Toro will be unable to provide a replacement. Please let us know if we can be of assistance in any other way. Well, ah. Uh, yeah, they could probably be assistance if they could keep me from having to throw all this in the trash. You know, everybody talks about plastic uh, trash ending up in landfills and ending up in the ocean. And and this kind of stuff, it doesn't go away. I mean, it's going to be plastic for a long time. If you, if you leave it in the sun, eventually it'll start to degrade from the UV radiation. But as far as uh, once it gets a layer of dirt on it, you know, some anthropologist will come back uh, 300,000 years from now and go, wow, these guys made some strange stuff out of plastic, didn't they? But anyway, I just figured I'd get that out there. If you're planning on buying one of these, they work great for, you know, a while. But once this blade decides to let loose, it's done. You know what I mean? It's all over. You're not going to fix it. And uh, it's a shame. It really is a shame because this is removable right off the shaft of the motor. You undo the nut. So if they would sell this part and they would make this so that, you know, I'd be willing to even try to just glue it back together if they would send me the blade. I mean, I'd take the loss, and I'd, and I'd take all that risk, you know, all that risk of they're trying to keep me safe. I get that, right? But I think a lot of that's a smokescreen for just, like, buy another one, pal. All right, well, anyway, that's my video. First one on YouTube. And, uh, you know, so think about it if you're going to buy a Toro blower. All right, later.